YouTube, this is Angie. I'm going to do a quick ARC thrift store haul. Um, at first, I have a couple little yard sale pieces that I got. I don't even remember when. Last week, I guess. Um, we went yard sale, and I guess I have forgotten I had these. But I got this cute vintage little Christmas cup for a dollar. I don't know why. I have a couple of these. This one's not marked. It I don't know if it looks like maybe somebody made it. That looks like stilt marks on it. Um, but um, I loved his eyes. I thought he looked almost kind of drunk. A little bit of sort of like a drunk Santa. But he was really cute for a dollar. I also got for, I think she just threw this in. This looks like a little Mary. And she needs to be cleaned up. But um, they didn't have the rest of it. But she's in really good shape. Um, it was a, la a couple ladies who were doing their aunt's. Um, this estate selling all of their aunt stuff who had passed away. So the other, there's no telling where the rest of this was. But that, she was so cute. Um, I think I paid like 50 cents for her. And, um, I'll do something with her. And I got this cute little bunny too. It was in really good shape. Um, I just really loved its eyes. The eyelashes and eyes are really done good on there. So I'll just, I'll keep that and use that for Easter. And then I got a couple pins, just because they were uh, a quarter a piece. Like two cats, kind of reminded me of the Lion King, I don't know why. And um, this little flower, which I'll do some of those. And then she had some earrings for, um, she actually had a dime on these bags. And um, this one is really pretty. Um, I used to do a lot of beaded jewelry, a lot of earrings, mostly in bracelets. Um, and just the beads alone, these beads alone, they're, they're cloisonne, the red and green and uh, pink ones. But for a dime, those are really cute earrings. Um, I just love those. I can't believe she, she, the lady was just giving them away. As you can see them there. And then this pair was, I believe, clip-ons. They were also a dime. I won't wear these, but I'll, I can do something with them. Um, they were just real pretty kind of pink and red stones. No, they're not clip-ons. I'll take that back. No, they're not clip-ons, but um, anyway, they're real pretty. Actually, I might wear them now that I've noticed they're not clip-ons. Yeah, but for 20 cents, I got both of those earrings. Those were a couple things I think I actually got at the last um, haul that I did. Those just forgot to get shown. And you can see I'm working on some ceramics, finally. The witch shoes, um, I've had those for probably two years, and I'm just now getting them done. I did the little um, mummy last year. He's kind of purple and gr purple and white and black. The witch shoes, where you see the gray, that'll be shiny black when they get fired in the kiln. And where you see the light green, that'll be like a neon lime green. I haven't decided what to do the heel yet and the bottom of the shoe. Um, I'm not sure. I don't really want to do orange. I want to do maybe purple or something different. And then I'll, when I fire them, I will um, put some other decorations on them and kind of bling them up. But I love those things. I've had those for two years and I'm just now getting them, maybe getting them done. One la uh, last little thing I got that was cute for uh, 25 cents at a yard sale was this little, um, I guess like pendant of gold. I live in Colorado where you actually find little things like this that's actually real gold. I don't think this is, but it was just really cute for, to um, hang on a necklace or something. And I don't know if it's real gold or not. My husband says it's not. Um, he actually has some, but um, I'm not going to open it and see, and I don't know. It was just cute. That's going to be a cute pendant for me. But actually, when I picked that up at a yard sale, the little lady that... I asked her how much it was because it wasn't priced. She was like, oh, where did you find that? She kind of acted like, um, I don't know, the way she acted kind of made me think it might be gold. But anyway, it's just a treasure for me to wear. Okay, at the art store this morning, I found some really cute, um, this was a pack of two vintage ornaments, and it was a dollar because everything but pink was, was half price. And I'm just now opening these, so it's, these are really cute. I have, I don't think I've ever found any like this, but that looks like a camel, a tree, and I'm not sure who he's supposed to be, but I love the, te I guess, teardrop open type 
ornament that's really pretty. I hope these aren't broken. Um, and then this one is, it's kind of like, it's a wise man. So I guess maybe that he is too. Um, so maybe, maybe they were a set. I've got two more. Let me see what, what are in those. But those were a, technically 50 cents a piece. So those were really cute. And then here was two more that were the same price. It's also another wise man. Now they're different looking. Okay, so that looks like three wise men. And maybe this one is something, well, four. <laughs> This one's kind of loose, but I can maybe fix it and get it back in there. But that's also another wise man. It looks like his tree fell on him, but I can fix it. But those were so cute. Um, I wonder if they make or made the nativity. I'm sure somewhere out there there's some like these that actually have Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. So I'll have to be on the hunt for that. But those were all 50 cent a piece which I loved. And they were actually somewhere where I never think to look in the store. They had some ornaments hanging up kind of behind the register. Sort of, you can still walk as a customer in that area, but I n I've never really looked there. And I'm glad I did because that was a great deal. I got this cup. There he goes again with his new alligator bag. I, like I said before, y'all have seen, I love to, it was 50 cents. And it says rust, so I guess it was maybe... Um, maybe it came with candy in it or something. But I thought of my father-in-law. This will be his cup when he comes uh, to visit and, uh, and drink his coffee. Or I might send it to him for Christmas because he's a big-time golfer, and I think he would like that. And it's in really good shape. But, um, I don't know why it has grass in it. <laughs> um, must have been stored with something with almost, almost like Easter grass. But um, that's so cute. It was really cute for 50 cents to be in really good shape. I, I've given up on trying to sell cups and mugs because I just, I've never had any luck. And then I bought these cute little pink earrings because I just love the stone. They were 50 cent, 49 cents because pink was the color that was not on sale. Um, I probably won't wear them, but I'll do something crafty with them. But it's a light pink and it's just a, it's not really a cube or it's hard to tell that shape. Um, I just thought for 50 cents, those are really cute. And one thing I got that's kind of big to show is this, um, for 150, it's an older, um, candy cane, two candy canes light up light. And it lit up well in the store. I bet it's probably prettier in the dark, but one little bulb down at the bottom didn't come on. All the rest did, so I'll just swap that out. But it, uh... I, I actually use a lot of candy canes when I decorate for Christmas in the in the front of my house, and that'll be pretty in a window. Now I just need to find, like, um, two more to match. Okay, and then some random stuff I got. Oh, wait, first let me show you. Ugh, I'm so mad. I know y'all have heard me complain about the tape people before. Okay. I saw these, and I love, like, bell peppers and stuff. I had no idea what they were. They were salt and pepper shakers. They were all taped up. And I'm looking at them, and, of course, I always find something with no price. So, I noticed they said Fitz and Floyd. Um, I guess this one sits like this, and this one sits like this. So, I take them up there, and he's like, um, how about a dollar forty-nine? And I'm like, sure. So, I buy them. And then, of course, I get home, and I cut this tape right here. And I very gently try to... Because, you know, I'm getting Fitz and Floyd to try to resell because I don't really need these. But they're cute. But I go to gently take off the tape and look. I mean, the green one. I haven't even really done much on the red one yet. But the green one. I mean, look at all that. I was so mad. So, before, I'm not even going to peel the rest of it off. Oh, I did it on this side, too. I pulled this side thinking, well, let me try over here. And look, it's just pulling off all the paint. So that is, I'm actually, I've never taken anything back to the thrift store, but I'm actually going to take that back just because what am I going to do with it now? And it's not that I, a dollar fifty is very much, but it's just like, Lord, people stop taping everything up and ruining it. Okay, that's my rant. Um, I found this little witch. I have a collection of these little sun catchers. I did pay $1.99 for her, which I hate that because you get these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But I haven't seen, I don't have this one. And I haven't seen it. And it, the likelihood of me finding it, so I paid $2. That's for me for my window to add to my collection. I got this cute little tin for, 
I guess 35 cents. I just love the pat, the vintage pattern. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it, but um, that was just really pretty for just some pennies. I got a, also for 35 cents. Now these are really dirty. It's a Tupperware little split container. Um, but for 35 cents. I can not get it. Um, because I always need something to put stuff in in the refrigerator. It's small and shallow, but um, that's a nice piece for 35 cents. I think I got another Tupperware in here too. Oh yeah, a tiny one. It was also no, this was 50 cents, but it's like a salt and pepper. Um, which that would be a lot. Not salt and pepper, but whatever you want to put in it to shake out. Maybe Parmesan cheese or something, which would be good. You can do a little bit on this side or like a lot on this side. But um, for 50 cents and being Tupperware, I had to get that for, for that. I also got, I've always wanted something to put my onions in. Hopefully so they don't smell once I cut one up. This is, all this is very dirty. I'm Hopefully it's going to bleach nice and clean. But this was an onion keeper. Apparently it was never used. It was 35 cents. <laughs> Um, so like for onion and garlic, I've always wanted something like that f to go in the refrigerator. Like that. And I got another cute little ornament because she was 35 cents. I guess she's a little angel. I don't know if she's supposed to be like Indian. Um, but she's so pretty. Um, look, she's got little beads down here. That's cute. That's going to go on my tree. And I got this cute, um little it's just a little 1988 or 1996 made in china i paid half a 250 so 125 um but i thought it was so it's a russell stover i guess it was a little candy bank well no it looks like it has a bank slot but i guess you op oh duh there you go okay i just got it for decorating for christmas because it was so cute you've got santa claus you've got a little elf pouring chocolate, another elf waving, a little elf on the roof. Let's see. Up there, and then two up. That's just so cute. And then the reindeer. It's just a cute little house I'm going to add to my um, snowman. A little Christmas decoration for, what did I say that was? For 125 So that was cute. And I got another little tin. Kind of kind of matches it. This was... Um, Actually, I'm, I'm kind of great. I'm crazy that I paid $2 for this tin. It's just a Hershey tin from 2000, but it's a cute little hat. It's like a little Hershey store. Um, it's not as cute as a little plastic one, but I might use it somewhere else in decorating. But it's pretty. I mean, it's got some pretty little graphics on it. And who doesn't love Hershey? That's the only kind of chocolate, in my opinion. But, um... Yeah, I just, I would have loved to have paid like a dollar instead of two, but, um, hey, whatever. I think I paid a total of $20 today, and, um, I got about 18 things, so that's not bad. And then I got this cute little plastic elf sitter. I actually have a couple of these I've shown before. I don't remember if he's one of the ones I've got. I know one was a drummer, and one was something else, but, um, they're real lightweight. This one's actually a little heavier than the ones I've got. He might be a little different. Like, I would not recommend, you can see whoever had it had to stick something to hold him on the shelf. He was a dollar, and I wouldn't recommend actually really hanging a stocking on him because he's very light. But just for decoration, he's missing a little paint. Um, but he's still really cute. I will keep him and sit him somewhere. Um, he's precious for decoration. And then, I guess the last thing I got, is, um, is that all? I guess it is. This is so cute to me, and let me fix her little hair before I show her to you. When I first saw her, I thought she was one of those um, marionette-type dolls, but I don't think she is. She just hangs up, and I just pulled out some of her broomstick, but um, she was $3, and like she, let me hang her up so you can see her. She's just the cutest little witch flying on her broomstick. Um, okay, turn around. <laughs> it's hard to do this. Okay, we're going to have her spinning around here. Hold on. 
Look at her cute face. I'm not sure what she's made it of. I don't know if it's wood or plastic. I don't know what it is. Plastic, but she's got her little brain. I'll have to fix her. Um, her little shoes. <laughs> Sandals. I just thought she was the cutest little witch. I would prefer it if she was green. Like I'm always saying, I like I like green witches. I'm a wicked and an Elphaba fan, but um look at her little broom. I just accidentally pulled some of this stuff out, but I can stick it back in there when I was trying to get her look at her price tag. Um but she's the cutest little thing. I love her. I'm gonna hang her somewhere. Definitely she will be I will definitely be keeping her because she's so cute. Um, but yeah, oh, that wasn't the last thing. The last thing I got was kind of a, no, got two more things. I bought two of these plates just because they were so pretty. Um, and they were, they were square. And it's kind of a pastel blue with a little bit of sort of tannish brownish. Um, but they were Southern Living Gallery. And they were a dollar a piece. They actually had like six. And I thought about getting them all, but I'm I'm not gonna use these for plates. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna probably hang it, maybe make it a picture frame, um, and put like a picture in between in the middle of here. I'm gonna do something crafty with that. So if I ever if I when I do it, I will show you. But um, I thought those were so pretty. I don't think they show up very well on this on this camera, but um, I actually I got two of them, so do something with that and then I got this cute little this is a ceramic spoon and I've actually made a couple ceramic spoon kind of like ladles for myself this was 50 cents um and it was chipless which I was for that's what shocked me at fir first it's got the hole in it so you can hang it and it's just cute it says love someone made this I don't know if they made it I don't know who made it um, but it reminds me of some of the ones that I've made for myself um but that was really cute um not sure what I'm going to do with it or where I'm going to use it. Maybe for sugar or something. Like I'm always buying sugar dishes that don't have a spoon that has a little place to put one in. Um, this one is a little big, but for 50 cents, I'd love that. That was so cute. And the last thing I bought, which was kind of crazy. Y'all know I've all, I'm always buying weird tins. Um, but this is the bottom. So it's kind of a big tin. And it was $2.00. But the top, it, it's weird how the top fits on because it, it comes out, but it's so cute. It is the Keebler Kids, or Happy Holidays Keebler, and the color's really good. Let's see what it says. 1983. I just thought that was so cute. I love that. That would be cute to put cookies in, obviously cookies, because it's Keebler. But, um, just another 10. I've got a million of them, but I just couldn't resist that one. And I thought $2 was a good price on that. Um, and I think that's all. If you notice my fingernail, I don't know if, you've, if anybody's ever noticed in my videos, this thumb has, like, since my very first video, I had, I slammed it in a sliding door, and I also hit it with a hammer. And it's had this huge, black, ugly <laughs> mark for my whole videos. You see the progression of my thumb healing. I just have one tiny little spot. It looks like a Sharpie marker, but that's actually a bruise on the nail. Just, uh, it's, next time, my next video, hopefully that will be gone. <laughs> I just, that's funny. I noticed that. Other people probably don't, but I do. But I think that's it for now. I've got another uh, thrifting haul that I will do probably tomorrow. But, um, hope everybody has a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.